What is going on everybody? Welcome to another day here in paradise. We're working on the Partridge House. And this will probably be one of our last few videos here. And today, as you can see, I'm standing out in front and that's because we're gonna tackle some of the exterior work that we wanted to get done. Now, originally we had planned to do some painting out here, change out some siding and, and a pretty significant change. But this whole viral pandemic and stores closing and just the need to get this thing on the market has changed our plans a little bit. So what I've gone ahead and done already is I've taken off all the awnings as you can see above the windows, so they're gone. We're gonna move the numbers, the house numbers you see there behind me, just to make some room for shutters. And that is gonna be the main focus of today's video is building shutters for the Partridge House. This is really going to be a simple shutter design and not kind of that farmhouse style look you're traditionally thinking of. All we're going to have here is two vertical rails and a bunch of horizontal connectors and then everything is going to get spray painted black at the end to give it that kind of crisp modern look. And to build this we're going to turn to our trusty stack of 1x2s because we have a whole bunch of them and we don't need to go shopping. The first step is to get all of our cuts made. So we're going to go ahead and start with our vertical pieces, which gives us the height of our shutter, and then make a bunch of repeated cuts for our horizontal pieces. So the standard guide for repeated cuts on my miter saw isn't short enough to actually make the cuts I need to cut. So all I've done here is use the fence on my miter saw and create a makeshift guide just to make my cuts a whole lot faster. pieces cut we can start by building our actual shutter now. So I'm going to start with my two vertical pieces and build my initial square and I'm going to make sure all my corners are square using a square. You'll also notice that I'm putting two nails in. That stops a little bit of that wobbling until we get more pieces in place. If I was to put just one nail in, you'd be able to pivot them very easily. With our frame made, we can lay out the rest of our horizontal rails. And I've got these spacers to make sure that they are all evenly spaced from top to bottom. Alright, so it's time to give our shutters a coat of paint. I'm going with flat black. I find it just adds that touch of elegance. But it is really cold outside, so we're going to paint them out here and then take them inside to dry. You guys are not allowed to see inside yet, though. That's for the next episode. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's the first set built and painted. So all we've got to do is repeat that for two more sets for the bedroom windows on the front. Then and we can let those dry and put them up dry, dry and, and that will really we finish off what we're going to be able to do with these. Finish, finish off the weather not cooperating when the, you know, the whole pandemic thing kind of stops or limits the amount of stuff we can go out and shop for. Alrighty, so that's so the, the exterior set kind of and built in as it is. Drying in the basement. So we got to go ahead and. So it's the next day here. Those shutters have had a chance to dry overnight. Here, let me show you what they look like. Ooh, they're looking good. So all we need to do is get them up, leveled on the house. We gotta pre-drill our holes because we are going to be drilling into stucco. And then we can just put some standard wood screws right through them and they'll be, yeah, they'll, they'll be done. It. That brings construction to an end here at the Partridge House. I'm really happy with how the outside turned out, especially considering we couldn't do everything that we wanted to just with the current situation. But that being said, we're done just in time because we have our first showing in about five hours time. So thanks a ton for watching guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell icon so you get notifications every time we release a new video, and we'll see you in the next one.
Oh, I just, I just about forgot. He's coming with me.